understanding, digitally adjusted. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're diving into the phrase, digitally adjusted. This term might sound technical, but it's increasingly common in our digital world. Whether it's photos, videos, or data, understanding what it means to be digitally adjusted is key to navigating modern technology. Let's break it down together. When we say something has been digitally adjusted, we're talking about modifications made using computer software. This can include anything from altering the brightness and contrast in a photo, to changing the numbers in a dataset to reflect updated information. The key point here is that these adjustments are made electronically, not manually. To illustrate, let's consider a few examples. Photoshop on images. A photographer might use software like Adobe Photoshop to enhance the colors in a sunset photo. Audio editing. A podcast producer could adjust the volume levels of their recording to ensure all speakers are heard clearly. Data correction. A researcher might digitally adjust data in a spreadsheet to correct errors or update information. These examples show how digital adjustments can vary widely in purpose and application, but all share the core idea of using technology to make changes. Understanding that something has been digitally adjusted is important for a few reasons. Authenticity. Knowing whether an image or piece of information has been altered can affect how we perceive its authenticity. Skills. Recognizing digital adjustments can inspire us to learn how to use digital tools for our own projects. Critical thinking. Being aware of digital adjustments encourages us to think critically about the digital content we consume daily. And that wraps up our exploration of digitally adjusted. We've seen that whether it's for aesthetic, practical, or corrective purposes, digital adjustments are a fundamental part of the digital age. I hope this video helps you understand and engage with digital content more effectively. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.